all right at this point we have understood some basic concepts of django and now what we'll do is we'll store some data inside the database we'll write some basic logic to fetch that data and show it in the front end okay so now when i said storing the data that means we need the database right so django by default comes with this sql3 database in the settings.py we have the sql3 database configuration and where is the database so database actually is just the uh, sql3 file okay db.sql3 so this is actually the uh, database file that actually comes with the uh, django installation okay and this is the database configuration okay but you don't actually need to configure this yourself unless you want to change the database okay but we are in the beginning stages of learning django so we will not change it right now okay but uh, but as we make more project we will we will explore different databases as well all right so we have the database now next what we need is the tables and the fields okay so to create these tables and fields we use models.py okay so where is our models.py uh, here inside the employees for, uh, you know employees app uh, we have this models.py so inside this models.py we create uh, database tables and uh, fields okay in this video we will create one simple model for storing the employee data okay so whenever we create a model or a database table we always need to imagine what are the fields that we required for our project okay for at least uh, creating our feature all right so when it comes to employee data we of course need some basic fields such as we need a first name last name maybe photo and designation email address phone number and all that okay so in this model sort by we are going to write it uh, you know write it down all right so to create our database table we usually start it from the class okay we actually create class and we will say employee okay so this will actually take models dot model okay. models dot model all right so this class name can be anything okay so if we create uh, you know we are storing the employee data right so that's why it is best to you know it's, it is best to use employee as a class name or if you are creating a product okay in a different project if you are creating a product then it's always good to have the class name product okay so like that all right so this will be our class and here we should say first name this will be our field name okay so this will this will be our class name which is uh, which is actually a table name all right and this is the field name first name is equal to models dot we have a fields inside the models we have car field this will be the character field okay so this character field will actually take one argument that is max length so we will set the max length 200 characters and the same way we will say last name last name is equal to models dot again car field and we should pass a uh, max length 100 okay and then uh, let's say we should actually uh, we need the photo as well okay photo will be model start image field okay model start image field and then upload to upload to uh, let's say images okay so this will be actually a media file there is a special configuration in django for uh, loading the media files as we did in the static files right so the same way we have the configuration for media files also uh, i'll i'll make a dedicated video on media files okay but uh, for now just follow this okay and then let's say designation designation will be uh, again the cat field right we can say models dot car field max length and then the email address okay, email address will be models dot email field okay models dot email field so this will actually take max length it will be again 100 
and unit is equal to true okay because for every user the email should be you know email address should be unique okay so that's why we said unique equal to true and then we need the phone number phone number phone number is equal to models dot let's set it as uh, carefield max length maybe 12 okay and if you want to make this phone number as the optional field you can you can do it by blank equal to true if you set blank equal to true then your phone number field will be optional okay all these other fields are actually the are not optional all right they are mandatory fields if you set blank equal to true this field is uh, optional okay and then at last we set the created date and updated date okay created at is equal to models dot date time field okay models dot date time field we set auto now add is equal to true okay and then similarly we use uh, updated at i'll tell you why i am using created at and updated at okay so just uh, let's first uh, finish this uh, creation models dot date time field again auto now is equal to true okay you see for the created at we are taking auto now add equal to true and for the updated at we are saying auto now equal to true okay not add so this is different this is different all right so we use a created at field to keep track of when this data was initially created okay so and similarly we use updated at uh, to keep track of when this data was previously modified okay so this uh, date time field will actually store the current time okay current time when the uh, data was created and when the update uh, you know uh, when the data was updated okay so and you must be saying why this is auto now add and why this is auto now uh, this is because auto now add is perfect for a one-time modification of a field on your model okay only when the model instance is created and saved for the first time okay and auto now is good for whenever you need a field to change the instance will be saved okay so it will update this field with the current time whenever this instance is actually saved or modified okay so in short created it will use this auto now add okay so this auto now add is for created it creating the instance and auto now is for the updating the instance all right so that's how it is and once this model is created then you should actually migrate them okay so of course we need to save it save this file all right so then we need to migrate them okay so what is migrate what is migration we'll tell you that in the next video